Well, we're back in the garage here. We got the Honda Talon in here. We're just uh, in here for something a little different today. We're going to fix something that I think happens to most men. Puts us in a bit of a, a predicament, I guess. Uh, as we get older, things grow. Things don't fit the way they should anymore. Next thing you know, you end up with a pair of shorts like this here. And you got no button on it. The button broke off. Don't know why, but we're going to see if we can come up with a fix here in the garage for sewing buttons on. I'm no good at sewing. And if you're like me and your, your girlfriend can't sew, your mom's too far away to sew a new button on, we come to the garage because we can fix anything in the garage. We'll give you a, a little tech tip here on if you're out in the trail and you have the right tools, you can fix up uh, your shorts so you don't lose them and embarrass yourself. So stay tuned here and I'll show you what my fix is for today in the garage and we'll see what you guys think. Should be uh, good for some content. I'm sure most of you guys have a, have a rivet gun. You got some rivets. I do have the nice long ones here. We all have a, a drawer full of washers, a container full of washer. These are the rivets here. They fit perfectly right on, uh, on the rivet. That is key to the fix we're coming up with here. Of course, you got a pair of side cars, trim it off. Might have to make a hole, so we use the torch on this, heat it up. We'll go through things here in a minute. The other thing we need is a small hammer. Comes in handy too to make things a little better. So of course we got a pair of shorts here. Lost the button. You can see where the threads are on it there. That kind of tells you where you want to put your hole. So we light up a torch here. We'll heat this up so we can poke a hole in the material. And of course, this is where the hole was, but we knew we broke it because we were uh, getting fat. So I'll move the hole over here a bit and give us a little extra room there. That burns a nice little hole. Grab a nice rivet here and a washer to go on. That will go on the inside. Come through from the back side here. And of course, you add a couple of these little washers here just to space out our actual button we're gonna put on. I think I put like three of these on here and then I put another washer to make my button. Another one for a little bit more insurance here. We'll grab our uh, rivet gun. Kind of hard to do this one handed, but we'll see how it works out here. Just like that, you got yourself, see the way that's spaced out, you got yourself a nice button there. Sticks up a bit here, but that's all right. That's what the hammer's for. Just nicely set that there, and we just... We'll flatten that out so it doesn't get caught in things. That's the, a little extra insurance there. Your button won't come off again. Like I said, big washer on the back so it can't pull through the back side. We got ourselves a good button there. The only issue I've had is... Uh, it's a little bit tight to get through there, so I usually take my little knife here and I have to open up the, the buttonhole a little bit, just like that. And then the washer will fit through there and uh, you're good to go for the rest of the day. No more losing your shorts on the, on the ride, good to go. So it's good to carry a rivet gun with you, some washers, you never know when somebody might blow a blow a button and you might be stuck on the trails staring at some crack through the day hope you guys got a kick out of that one i have used this trick to fix shorts before i know you guys now will be checking my shorts asking if i got a button on or a rivet holding my pants up but make for some entertainment on the trails stay tuned for more uh do-it-yourself uh fixes in the garage See how that, that fix there, I know it's not perfect. I wouldn't use it to hold up your dress pants or anything like that. It's just for your garage and riding clothes, a quick fix. If the button blows, we're not trying to place you, replace you women out there. You got, we do need you in our lives and stuff. It's just if you're working in the garage on your side by side, maybe doing an oil change for a ride coming up on the weekend, you blow a button, 
you want a quick fix and you're in the garage you got everything you need right here you might as well just fix it quick and keep on getting the machine ready to go for the ride because nobody likes to miss a ride so stay tuned to the channel i'm sure we'll have some more uh do-it-yourself garage tips coming up hope you guys got a kick out of this one there should be some more to come thanks for watching leave a comment if you thought it was funny